Hello makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 44 years old and I live here in sunny Derbyshire. Now today is Friday the 13th, Ooh. so please, please don't have the sex in the woods tonight. No, 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 otherwise you might meet. That's the worst impression I've ever done, I apologise for that. But yeah, it's Friday the 13th, I hope you have a good and safe one. I usually have a pretty good Friday the 13th, usually. Anyway, thanks for watching and I do have an apology. Uh, I did miss last Monday's upload and that's purely because I only had the one day I was able to film and I had to have a migraine on that day so that wasn't a pleasant situation I'm sure you'd rather me miss a week than see me trying to do a video having a migraine with my head spinning round and looking like Regan off The Exorcist yes it was that bad so yes I thought I'd best to miss a week so right I'll get straight to it and to make up for missing last week I have look what I've got I've got the sought after Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. I honestly thought that the perfect palette for me wouldn't exist unless I made it myself. It does now. This is everything. It is worth the hype because I don't believe things until I've tried it myself or seen it for myself. And I think it's about three times now that this is sold out and it's a single lady owned company. I meant singly run company. I don't know if she's married or not. She might be, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, single woman owned. That's perhaps a better way of saying it. And she has done two palettes previously, which I will show you. I do have these as well. I'll show you what they look like because I, I feel that these two are getting skipped now. Um, so I'll show you what they look like. I think these were only 20 pounds because she is UK based and I obviously live in the UK, so I had to support, you know, a UK-based um, cosmetics brand. This is, uh, sorry, it's the Gone Rogue. Look at that for a rainbow palette. Now, I deliberately haven't tried these because I want to try them and show you them at the same time like I usually do. So I have no idea what these are like. They look absolutely stunning. That one in particular, uh, oh, that is its namesake, Gone Rogue. That looks like a duo chrome to me, or it could be a glitter. No, I think it's a glitter. I've just touched it. I think that's a glitter. But yeah, I will be doing videos on, on both of these, and I will uh, have an entire video on this one and an entire video on the Rose Cosmetics. Not Rose Cosmetics. <laughs> Rose Metal. Honestly, I haven't got a migraine today. It's, it's just my mouth. It's not working. Uh, so this is the Rose Metal one. And I haven't actually opened this, so I'll... There we go, yeah. So look at those colours, how beautiful is that? So that is why I'm going to de dedicate an entire video to each of these retrospect, uh, uh, you know, with themselves. Um, because I think they deserve it, they are beautiful. And what I read that apparently the lady sold out, I think it was in five minutes, she sold more copies of this in five minutes than I think these two combined in the full year. <laughs> That is amazing, and that just proves how amazing this palette is. And I know I keep using the word amazing, but it is, it's amazing. Not only is it the colour combination that she's chosen that sings to my heart, it's the quality as well. And again, supporting a UK cosmetics company, brilliant. And they are vegan and cruelty free. So that's those two. Again, this one's vegan and cruelty free as well. Uh, it does come in the slip cases, which is what I'm showing you now, because I want to show you what it looked like when I bought it, like a bit of an unboxing video. Obviously, obviously I have opened it because it's what I'm wearing. Um, as you know, I usually like to wear my lashes, but I haven't today because I wanted to show you what it looks like because I felt like the the lashes might take away from the effect. So I just put a bit of liner and mascara on. If you see any blue just here, please ignore that. Uh, that is a Fenty Beauty highlighter. Uh, I thought it would look kind of cool. You can just see how it's just shining there. So that, that is the only thing that isn't in the eyeshadows. It's a highlighter. I just thought it would look cool. So I'll give you a close up of my eye. 
Yes, I need to pluck, I know. <laughs> I will get that sorted out hopefully soon. <laughs> so yeah, I'll give you a look at my eyes. So yeah, I try to use as much as possible. And I don't like doing tutorial videos because I don't feel that I'm qualified enough to show you guys what to do. And there are lots of tutorial videos on there from my actual qualified makeup artist. I'm self-taught and I just follow a tutorials uh, academy, it's a um, girl meets brush. So I don't feel, you know, I mean, if, if you guys want that in the future, I'd be happy to do it. Um, but at the moment, I, I just do it for my own pleasure, really. And like I said, I don't feel confident to show you guys what to do. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. You never know in the future. So, I'll get to it because I'm babbling on again as usual. So, this is how it arrived to me. Obviously, I took out the outer layers with my dress on and everything. So, Lois Cosmetics. Um, to open up. It opened up like that. So, I was impressed with the packaging. I just expected bubble wrap and, you know, my palette. But, no, I got a lovely little um, thank you card. Hey, beauty, you're going to love this. We'd love to know what you think. So, it's share, sharing um, your haul on there. That's a card to keep. And then this, I'll read this out to you, this little card. So it says, well, I'll show it you and then I'll read it. So it's, again, it's the beautiful design on the back and the front. I won't read you all that out. You'll have to buy the palette to read it. <laughs> but basically, it's the story of Orpheus and I've forgotten, Eurydice. Eurydice? It does actually say, I'll, I'll read this a bit out now. So, meet me in the underworld. Meet our newest eyeshadow palette the grunge glam collection of shades, which it is. The warmth, depth and unique twists meet me in the underworld. Inspired by the heartbreaking tale of, and it, what it shows you, I'll just show you there, it shows you how to pronounce the Greek um, names. So it's Orpheus and Eurydice, Eurydice, C, Eurydice, probably made a right mess of that. And it's a classical myth of of enduring love and loss that has inspired artists, writers and composers for century and we are no, no exception. We hope this inspires you as it has us. Lois Cosmetics. So yeah, that's what I just read there. That is the story. If you're interested, you'll have to buy the palette or go on Google. <laughs> there we go. So got a lovely little thank you sticker there and then it opened out like this. And this is the palette. The artwork is amazing. So that is the right way up. And this is the other way. Absolutely beautiful. I I do think that these two people remind me of Twilight, you know, Bella and Edward. I don't know if it were meant to or not, but yeah, I think they do. And I'm also thinking, what a beautiful idea of a tattoo. Put your loved one there. Yeah, never know. So this is the palette. So are you ready for this? I know you've seen 55,000 million videos of this, but I had to get it for myself. And I want to share it with you guys as well, because I want you to see how beautiful it is as well, because it, for me, this is perfect. Anybody who knows, knows me and knows me well, knows that I am a goth girl at heart. I may not dress like a goth all the time, but my heart is 100% goth. So I, I love anything and everything to do gothic. Uh, I love Whitby. We had our honeymoon at Whitby. Uh, I love horror or everything to do with it. So I may have multicoloured hair. I may have pink hair, blue hair. Uh, I may dress in rainbow colours. But that's purely my way of expressing myself. And I do enjoy bright colours. But my heart is always goth so yes I'm a little bit little bit weird like that but yeah so like I said anyone knows me knows that this is the perfect palette for me uh, it's amazing it is absolutely beautiful uh, the shades I've used I think you can tell I, I've dug into the black for the outer corners uh, I've mainly used uh, that one there uh, nymph um, that one for the, the main part of the green on the crease and go into the outer corner and then I put the black which is Underworld, perfect name. And then I used this one which is Woodland just to go 
just from uh, my crease lower down and then I used one of the purples which one was it snake bite for the lid and then I like to go up with a shimmer from the corner just flaring it up so that part there I used uh, which one did I use poetry this one here and then because uh, I like to extend it as well I went from poetry just there I think you can just see it like I say ignore the blue you're looking at a, a light green color and that is enchanted no I tell a lie it's not enchanted it's Orpheus that I used because I was torn between using the enchanted and the Orpheus and I thought the enchanted was along the similar lines of what I've used and I thought that one would shine it up a bit more and then I used some more of what did I use in the inner corner? Oh, got it completely wrong. <laughs> I did use the enchanted. I did use the enchanted there. And then for the inner corner, because it shows up a bit more gold. But you know, as I'm looking at it this side, it looks a bit more green. But it does shine gold. So I used that for the right in the inner corner highlight there. So yeah, so they're barely close colours. So again, ignore the blue. That is the Fenty Beauty. Um, I forget which one it's called. It's the one with quite a few of them all together, all unusual colours. I used that. And then I used the Fenty again as a highlight there. Obviously not the blue one, a slightly different one, a, a purpley one. And then um, I used a bl blush from, I think it was Witchwood that I used the blush from. And the lips are a Urban, Urban Decay. It was, you know, the, I mean, I, I know they've got a new... Um, uh, new stockage of the um, Vice lipsticks. Well, I got the old Vice box set and it's one of the news in there. Anyway, I'll stop, stop rabbiting on and I'll get my arm prepped and ready to do the swatch. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. That's it, swatched and ready to go. As usual, I've used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance eye primer because um, the swatch is from Swatch Perfect UK and that's what they recommend to do when you're doing a swatch is to use an eye primer plus I like to see what it looks like on the arm is going to give you a better idea of what it's going to look like on the lid because obviously it does always swatches always swatch different on your skin on your arm to on your lids but it's just so you can get your colours and you can feel your textures so enough babbling because I realise I'm babbling quite a lot. I think it's because I miss you all last week so much. So mm, I'll try and button it. So <laughs> I'll stand up ready. So like I say, it's Friday the 13th. So I had to put my Jason t-shirt on. And I've got some new cool earrings to not go with it. But you know what I mean. My scream earrings. There we go. So I'll just get ready. So these do have names. And what I will do... And I can open it up is I will go there is a beautiful mirror with the artwork around it as well forgot to mention that um there we go so I will go from that way on continue like that and they have names so I will shout them out as I go um there are no glitters it's just shimmers and then mattes so you've mainly got your shimmers up on the top bit so I'll be doing the shimmers first. There's just one matte added in there. And then the bottom half is mainly mattes. Right. So the first one is called Poetry. And I'll tell you what I used on my eye part as well. So the Poetry is what I used from my inner corner upwards. So there we go. I'll just move my stool out of the way so I can get nearer. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um delicate rose pink it'd be interesting to see if these rose colors are duplicates you know for the um, rose metal palette now that is just one finger coat I always do two and they feel so cushiony soft and just look how shiny they are on the finger and the super buildable super blendable I did not get any patchiness, even with the black, I didn't get any patchiness. And I've got mature mature age eyes. Uh, obviously, I keep telling you that I'm 44. Um, I do that so you can understand 
um, you know, if I've got any age <laughs> age problems with my eyes, I've got obviously I've got folds, I've got wrinkles. So I like to tell you my age so you can understand how I do my eyes for my age, if that makes sense. Um, the next one is Liar, as in L Y R E. Um, it's that musical instrument, isn't it? It's um, it's like a shape like that with it's either that way or that way, like um, like a little harp, isn't it? There we go. Now that is more of a coppery shade, but look how beautiful that is. I'm hoping it is showing as well as what I can see. Now, luckily, um, even though it's it's starting to get sunnier outside, the lighting's just right. So I'm hoping it's catching the light without being too blinding, if you know what I mean. Because sometimes you, it blinds you, you can just can't tell what the colour it is. Uh, so the next one is Enchanted. And that's what I use. That's the one that I got mixed up in telling you what it was. It's the one that I use like, under my brow, brow bow. That's just like how I like to rock with uh, my eyes. I like to, you know, with them wearing glasses, I like to put a lot of focus on my eyes and open them up as much as possible and let you see as much of my eye colour as possible. So that's one sweep and then two sweeps. So you can see how beautiful they are. And the next one I haven't used at all is Forest. That's a dark green. I do like the order that they put these in. I'm, I'm one of these. Um, I don't have OCD, but I do like to have things in a certain order. And I do love how they put all the, all the shimmers like all together and they're, they're all like colours go together. And, you know, rather than, I, I know a lot of people like mixed up palettes. <laughs> I'm not like that. There we go. So that is a beautiful shade, that one. So that's the top row done. Now the next one is Eurydice. I've probably just killed that name, but that is the namesake of um, the palette because it's the love story of that lady and Orpheus. And that is a beautiful, delicate pink. Beautiful pink. Second coat. But yeah, super buildable. Beautiful, and these are just the shimmers. Now, this is the first matte, but it's the only matte on this row. And this is Hades, of course. Yeah, can't have an underworld palette and not have Hades. There we go. Look at that. Now, that's just with one, one sweep. And this is the second one, does not need a second one. But you understand what I mean when I say the super buildable. So I'm just wiping my fingers quite well because that was quite a dark, dark one. So it's like a chocolate brown, that one. Now, Muses is the next one. And this feels completely different to the others. It feels more creamy. It's one of those that feels a little bit wet. So yeah, I don't know if you can tell straight away that that is going on slightly different. Yeah, that is one of those wet feeling ones. It's probably a specific name to call it. It's probably what the is it the cream to powder one, but I just call them the wet ones. <laughs> you you understand what I'm on about then. And the next one is Orpheus, and this is what I use for the inner corner, and it's that amazing gold colour. Look at that, just with one one sweep. That is beautiful so I'm just wiping my fingers well so that is two layers done and that is also the shimmers done the next ones are all mattes so I'm using snake bite and that is what I used on my lid nearer the front part of the lid and again this I, I thought oh there's going to be loads of fallout there's not a lot of fallout at all in fact I don't think there was any um, I always do my eyes first, even if it's just a plain shimmer shade. It's just a habit I've gotten into. Always do my eyes first, and then you can tidy up how you want to. So that's just the one coat, the second coat, 
see what I mean I can build them up I just went in first quite gently um, because obviously I'm new to uh, this company so uh, I didn't know how they'd work so I always go a little bit tentatively at first and then build up because it's easy to do it that way and then putting a load of shadow on your eye and then going where can I put it so the next one I haven't used and that's footsteps and this one feels really really cream and look at that straight away these mats are incredible I'm just hoping that the exact same quality in the other two because if so this company is going to be one of the best companies and one to keep an eye on in the future because I think anything else is just going to turn into gold dust I really do for them um, so the next one is Nymph. This is one that I used mainly on the crease and a little bit onto the lid as well. So again, beautiful. I love these grungy colours, but you can make them light as well. I mean, you've got all these neutrals here, so you can make a neutral look out of this. So there we go, and the next one is Myth. This is a neutral one as well. This is what I'm saying. Now you can make a neutral look if you want to. So your daytime work look, it can be all neutral. Later on, you can grunge it up. There we go. So that is Myth. So that's the last one of that, that can't speak, that row. And uh, so last row is, first one is Tragic Love. I haven't used this one either. Oh, look at that. That's a deep, deep burgundy. Beautiful. That is beautiful. I can't wait to take this swatch off and show you them. And then it's Melody. I haven't used this one either. I tried to use as many as possible. I don't personally like putting shadows on my lower lash area. That's purely because um, I find they tend to run on me no matter what I do. And it doesn't really look flattering. So I only ever use um, Colourpop's, you know, the gel liners. I like to use that in my waterline. And if I do want to go a bit further down, I just use that on my lash line. I never put mascara on my lower lash line either. Uh, purely because, again, it, it never seems to look really flattering on me. Uh, I like my eyes to look a bit more open. Um, so that, that's what I do. So you'll never see me using... Um, uh, eyeshadows on my lower lash line just in case you're wondering oh well she could have used you know these colors that look great you know I personally don't like that because it just goes in all my creases and look, it makes me look older than what I am so there you go so the next color is woodland so yeah just in case you were wondering because I know I see a lot of people doing it and it does look absolutely beautiful on them but I've tried it quite a few times and it 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 does, it's not a very flattering look on me. There we go, so that's Woodland. And then, you can't have a grunge palette without this colour. And it is the perfect name for it, it's Underworld. And it's the blackest of blacks. In fact, I think they just, just went and got a lump of charcoal <laughs> and used it. Because that is how black it is. Look at that on one sweep. Now, when I was using it, because a lot of blacks can go patchy or go on grey, this went on black as night. Um, yeah, two sweeps. I didn't need two sweeps. So if you're wanting it to do it like build up, you can do. You can go in really, really baby steps. And, you know, you'll start off dark and then gradually get darker. Because I know sometimes with black people like to do that. Um, but yes, you can do that with this. So like I say, it's so versatile because some palettes you just go in and that's it. What you see is what you get. You can't do anything with it. But this palette, no. You can build it up. You can tone it down. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just tidying up just a little bit around the edges. So I'll just shut the palette. So yeah, 
that's what you've been watching and this is what we've been swatching hey catchphrase <laughs> so i'll just get in a better position for you i'll try not to shake my arm too much because i've got dead arm there we go are we ready oh my look at that oh wow that is amazing look at those colors can you see that gold one i think that's the orpheus one i think isn't it look at that I'm trying to get in a good place for you so i'll go as close as possible those colors oh my they are beautiful oh i'm obsessed if i could only ever have one palette i could only keep one palette it would be this palette and i, I wish the company all the luck in the world because they have struck gold with this one and i checked over the weekend and it is still available i, f I forget how much it is i think it might be 29 pounds i think uh, and no, it's definitely not more than that. It's either 29 or 25, I can't remember. I know the others were £19 when I bought them. And I know she does uh, an Underworld collection with brushes um, as well as the palette. And I think you get, um, you know, your blenders, uh, sponge blenders, I think. I'm not certain, but I, I, at the weekend it was unavailable. But you can still get the palette because I know this will be, I'm sure it's like the third time it's been out. And she's got lots of copies in now because obviously she didn't expect it to sell out like it did. <laughs> and it went like hotcakes, even hotter than hotcakes. That is amazing. So yeah, it is lived up to expectation. It is beautiful. So if you'd like to support a UK company... And of course, with it being in the UK for me, I didn't have to pay stupid <laughs> postage. It was like the you know the normal standard postage, obviously for us. It was only like a few pounds, whereas normally you can expect to pay anything up to twenty pounds, can't you? For if you're being shipped from America, so that is absolutely out of this underworld. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get it in there. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful. A million out of ten. I expected it to be good, yes. I expected it just to be pretty colours, yes. My colours, yes. So I expected to enjoy it. But it's the quality I didn't expect. This is top quality makeup. Top quality. Um highly recommend it and if her other palettes are as good quality I'm going to love them so yes I will do I, it's not going to be next week it might be next month that I get around to doing these videos and I'll perhaps pop one in one week one in a few weeks after so it's not all Lois Cosmetics for an entire month um, but I'm definitely going to review these because I'm not going to try them until I review them so it makes me use them <laughs> there we go so i'm gonna stop babbling because i appreciate it. i've rambled on an awful lot but that's because i'm excited i always talk a lot ask my husband <laughs> when i'm excited about anything i have verbal diarrhea and that i'm excited about i can i mean i can only imagine if she does like a purple you know type grunge palette oh my god <laughs> that would be unreal as well so yeah lois if you're listening do a purple type grungy one next. As you can tell, purple is my favourite colour. So yeah, so I'm going to shut up. So a million out of ten, go and buy them. If these are your colours, if you don't like these colours, don't get it. <laughs> but if you love these colours, trust me, get it and support a local provider as well. Please support her.
Okay, so thank you very much for watching and thank you for listening to me ramble on excitedly. And yeah, all being well, migraine permitting. I will see you again next week. So please take care of yourself. It is Friday the 13th. So remember, no sex in woods. And I'll see you next week. Bye.